New York's best-known political figures attended the opening of Aggie Kenny's show at the New York Police Museum, sketches and watercolors of Ground Zero done in the months after the attacks. Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly. I actually live just a, a block away from this uh, location, and uh, I think the artist Aggie Kenny has done a remarkable job in capturing the, the feeling of those uh, terrible days uh, after 9-11. The artist is reserved about her work. She calls herself a reportorial artist and says she was drawn as a witness to the former World Trade Center site. I think it was my way of trying to come to terms with this horrible tragedy. The result are images of unlikely gentleness. From early March to late May 2002, when the cleanup was largely finished, Kenny visited Ground Zero every few days, sketchbook in hand. She had credentials from the Salvation Army identifying her as a historical artist. She returned often to a huge tent that the responders called the Taj Mahal. They went there to rest and have a meal. It struck me as being almost cathedral-like. Just hundreds of people bustling about, but they were basically very quiet. It was so unusual to see so many people from so many different walks of life, so many backgrounds, working just beautifully together. There, there, there was a pervasive uh, atmosphere of love, I would say. In many images, as in a watercolor of the sleep tent, responders, police, firefighters, iron workers, appear to be physically and emotionally exhausted. Often there were men in each and every cot with teddy bears beside them, with their boots by the cot, just totally, totally exhausted. I think they fell asleep seconds after they hit the cot. A painting from late March shows firefighters waiting for stretchers bearing the remains of two firemen who died in the attacks. Another shows a weary policeman and workers behind him with rakes. And of course the rakers looking for human remains. And late in the game too, the 5th of May 2002. When the cleanup ended that month, Kenny put the paintings and sketches away. They remained unseen until a friend told the police museum about them. The, the whole subject of 9-11 uh, to me is sacrosanct and, uh, you know, you don't want to take these sketches and, and um, go out to a street corner and sell them. Uh, I really didn't know for eight and a half years um, what I would do with these boxes of sketchbooks. At the show's opening, some police and responders said they are glad the work is on public view. As for Kenny, she has returned to her job as a courtroom artist. She says she doesn't know if she will ever again witness scenes like those she saw at Ground Zero. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.